gaskets. We've got our gaskets on here. Instead of just our standard gasket, we have Predator engraved in here. Just taking it a little bit over the top with virtually everything we do. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Ryan Wilson here from Predator Inc. And today I've got a couple cool trucks we have up for sale. One of them is built by Paul Hyde out in Florida. It is a wagon 1997 with a common rail Cummins engine, made it to the six speed Allison transmission. Amazing truck, so we'll get into that in a minute. But before that, we have our four door hardtop behind me. We featured this in another vlog. Want to do a quick walk around on this truck again because we changed a few items. So we had a few customers that came in, have been working with us for many, many years, saw this truck in person, they saw the vlog, and they're like, you know what, this truck is just too stock. It needs a little bit to it, something that's exciting. So what we did was we threw on the Viper uh, front bumper as well as the D-ring brush guard made a huge difference to the overall look of the truck, blends in very well, black on black. And then of course the airlift hooks, as well as the uh, hood gaskets up here. Really transformed the truck just with a couple subtle changes. We also went ahead and changed out the rims and tires. So the rims were running 17s before. Problem is you don't get into a lot of choices when you're in the 17s. There's only a couple tires there. If you get in the 20s, you have a lot more options as far as availability on tires. Secondly on that, I found a crack in one of the tires and I can't sell it this way. So let's go ahead and pop these things off. Good opportunity to throw on our 20 inch rims as well as some mud terrain tires. On top of that, we threw on our new billet aluminum CTI protectors as well as quick disconnect isolators on the rims. So the truck is virtually dialed. It's everything that I'd wanna have on the truck. Come on around here, I wanna show you these rims and tires and then we'll take it for a quick trip around the block. On to our rims. We've got 20 inch rims. Again, a lot more options with these rims over the stock 17s. Most importantly is we have our billet aluminum CTIS uh, protector plates here. It's a one piece billet aluminum design. It says CTIS on here, Predator on the other side. It's also in the shape of our gear logo. It's C-shaped, it's open up with the uh, CTIS line access through here. But one of the most unique things about this setup is it's dual isolating quick disconnect. What that means is both front tires connected through the central tire inflation system. So you can inflate the tires, deflate the tires, on the fly. With that, when you disconnect this side on the factory system, these guys will not disconnect completely. You'll pop this guy out here. The other side, if it's connected, is gonna blow all the air out of that other tire through this valve here. You have to walk around to the other side, disconnect both sides. There's a little tab on the back side here. You push it in on the valve and disconnect it, but it doesn't fully disconnect from the CTIS system or the hub. Where this system, you simply just reach in there, pop it out, disconnect it, and it isolates on both sides, but right through this valve right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy off. And you've disconnected the system. You heard a little hiss of air that's coming in from the other side as it disconnected. So now it's fully disconnected. All you do is you pop out your lug nuts, take off the rim and tire, swap on the new one or whatever you're doing and it goes back into place. Now the other advantage here is if you ever take your, uh, your truck to a shop that does not have the CTIS system, it has a factory CTIS system, you risk damaging your valve, which I think they were like 150 bucks or so. What happens is there's a little tab, that little tab that disconnects it um, and isolates that tire from the other side, comes out right in the center here on the opposite side of the CTIS line. And what happens is techs have the tendency to put a wrench on there, and bring it all the way around. It's the easiest, fastest, most efficient way of taking that, that uh, system apart there, they're taking out that CTIS valve. So when that happens, as their swing comes around, their wrench hits that tab, bends the tab, and it ruins that valve. So that's a huge um, downside to the factory setup. And that's why subsequently a lot of different shops out there, the big brand name shops, don't deal with CTIS equipped trucks anymore because of the amount of uh, damage that they were causing on our Hummers. Um, with this setup, if you do go into um, one of the big brand name tire shops, it's very easy just to disconnect it and you're good to go. So up to the top of the truck here, we've got our new uh, airlift hooks, 
which are a lot bigger and stronger, bolder design than the factory military uh, airlift hooks. Factory ones are about a quarter inch narrower than this one. This one just fits better. We went out of one inch material. It's a lot wider, but it also fits in perfectly with our D-ring brush guard. So there's a small gap, maybe an eighth inch gap on either side of it. What we do is we actually drill the hole right through the center of the airlift hook for our pin. So very, um, clean look to it. You don't have to weld on a tab. Obviously there's a lot more work in installing this setup because it's welded onto the airlift purchase, but it has a very clean look to it. Again, fit and finish is uh, foremost here and it just looks the part. Secondly is we've got our gaskets on here. Instead of just our standard gasket, we have Predator engraved in here. Just taking it a little bit over the top with virtually everything we do. We have um, stainless steel hardware on here and the truck is just dialed. So I say we jump in it, take it for a quick spin, and then we'll take you out to Florida so you can see what Paul High's got going on out there. So Duramax diesel conversion, uh, it's putting about 500 horsepower out, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. The biggest thing is it just has the drivability out of the truck. I mean, you expect a certain amount of drivability out of the trucks, and um, the normal 6.5, 6.5 turbo diesel and the 6.2s, they just don't have it, especially uh, the 6.2s and 6.5 normally aspirated. They're just virtually bulletproof engines, but just really gutless. The Duramax takes care of all that issue. Six-speed transmission, you can get up and get out on the highway and it just runs flawlessly. Definitely had a lot of fun with this truck today, but uh, I'm gonna shoot you out to Florida, check in with Hyde on this insane build that he did. It's common common rail uh, conversion with the Allison six-speed transmission. So super rare, amazing build. It's up for sale too. So thanks for watching out here and uh, see you guys soon. Hey guys, Paul over here at Predator Florida. Today we got a 1996 wagon with a Cummins Allison conversion. Looking up in the front, you can see that this customer went with all, the full LED light package, search and rescue front winch bumper, and has a 12K Warren winch with a steel cable. Also has a D-ring brush guard. The hood scoop has a stainless steel mesh in the front and a stainless steel mesh in the front grille as well of the hood. You can see that it has our uh, Fox remote reservoir shocks and it has our adjustable shocks as well on the inside, which you really can't see, but they're in there. Looking at the tires, they're 38 inch, 20 inch rim and a 13 and a half inch footprint. Uh, there are simulated bead lock and also has our stainless steel quick disconnect as well on here. The accessories were all uh, powder coated texture black, pressure intake, the offset snorkel, the hinges uh, and the door handles as well. This is the full uh, belly pan. This is not the bolt on style that goes to the aluminum ones. So this one's is steel all the way across for extra rigidity and definitely side impact uh, uh, strength. We have the built locking fuel doors, which is um, a hot commodity right now. And also the six inch oval LEDs on the sides. The rear is also the LED lights. Some customers want to get the six inch LED uh, ovals uh, to match all the way around. This customer just wanted to keep it the stock look, which is a nice look. We have the search and rescue rear bumper system. It also has a 12K Warren winch and again has a steel cable. So let's go and take a look on the inside and I'll explain some of the things we did uh, in there. Some of the things we added to this truck, which it originally didn't come with, was the front and rear lockers. Now these are the ones from AM General and they were the last ones that you could buy from AM General. And you can see the switches right over here. And you can also see while, while you're in there, you can see the red stitching and the black leather. Now you see the Alpine head unit that was uh, just installed and it also has Kenwood speakers up in the corners. Now the seats right here, you can see are black with the red uh, backing on it. All right, so now we're under the hood and you can see that this truck actually has the Cummins, like I mentioned earlier in the video. This is the 6.7 Common Rail Cummins. A video I did a couple years ago, I actually had the body off of this when I was changing out the injectors and you can see the whole power plant without the body on it. This is our 24 valve Common Rail Cummins that we did. So now you can see what we actually have going on. So what we had to do on this one 
is because the body lift is three inches uh, on the Cummins. Uh, on this particular one, we actually added two inches to the, the body mount uh, perch itself uh, on all six corners. So you can see we made that one. Uh, you can see we lifted it here. And then there's a one inch puck that goes on here. One of these pucks go on the back one uh, as well. Uh, the exhaust goes underneath the transmission. Uh, typically we don't do that on our Duramaxes. We come down this way. However, this, the turbo's on this side of the engine, on, on this uh, setup. So you see, as we, we came across here, one of the problems that we uh, came across uh, is the, the front drive shaft. So we had to uh, bend this in uh, to make the drive shaft fit with uh, the exhaust uh, as well. So then we came up and across and out the back. On the power steering, you see the reservoir is mounted up on top. Normally, it's actually mounted on the, the power steering pump itself right here. So as you can see with the intercooler pipe, there's no way to actually make that fit. So um, I had to relocate it up to the top. So it looks like it's supposed to be there. However, it wasn't located there from the factory. And then you can see uh, also the fan shroud we actually made. So this is not the factory fan shroud that comes with the H1. This one's made out of uh, a steel sheet metal that we made in California as well. And then the fan is actually off of a 6.5 factory uh, H1 truck. Another issue we came across was on the factory breather system. It was actually sitting about two and a half inches taller. However, uh, I didn't want to lift the truck so high up. It just looked kind of funny uh, and it made it real top heavy uh, the way it was sitting. So we actually uh, made this over in California. We uh, water jetted it out and then we engraved this in our CNC. And uh, I made this as part of the breather system. There's actually stainless mesh inside here to stop the oil from actually just like coming right through because this goes to the intake system. Uh, and then I just bought a universal setup for the oil filler cap and then we just use the factory seals on the inside. Uh, you can see obviously as the aluminum radiator aluminum intercooler and then obviously the condenser for the air conditioning as well and then this truck is also equipped with the battery tender that's sitting on top of the battery but the plug is over here so you don't have to open the brush guard or the hood uh, to actually do uh, to actually plug it in you just go right through the side and just plug it in um, another thing this truck has as well is the 12k half shafts uh, throughout you won't be able to tell without actually seeing uh, like seeing it in person or uh, you can't see the 12 inch brakes the alpha brake upgrade that it has also all right guys there you go there's our 1996 uh, black wagon we have with the Cummins Allison conversion that I did in San Diego any questions you have feel free to call Paul over in San Diego or Joe don't forget subscribe whatever Jason wants you to do or who wants me to do but I got to get going because my cameraman and I are getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. We're just out here trying to film this truck right now. The Cummins for sale. See Andrew in there? And... There's the alligators just chilling. <laughs>